Hi, Peggy and Joyce and Carla. How is everybody? If you don't know me, I'm Angie with Brushes and Boards and Stencil It Up. Hi, Liz Mars and Julie McCoy, my friend. And Sammy Stock. I'm glad all my friends are hopping in. Oh my God, Lisa Morris, we ate so much. We were sick. We were sick. Thank you, Julie. We ate so much crab legs today. Me and Ellen made herself sick. It is so hot today. Look, my hair is all sweaty. And I even went in and tried to do something with it. Nothing. Hi, Margaret and Jackie. Did you hear what? I just heard it, Laura. Kurt's in there watching it now. The crab legs were amazing. Kurt's in there watching now. I was out here getting my stuff ready. And then Lyra came in and told me. Or somebody came in and told me. I don't know who. Hi, Mary and Leslie. I'm sweating in places I forgot about. You're right, Julie. It's like miserable today. Hi, Debbie and Robin and Sherry. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, guys. I've done this before on my page, but I thought it was so cool. I wanted to do it on her page. Hi, Lynn. Thank you. Hi, Betty. And Lori, if you're on here, I appreciate you letting me on your page again. Crab legs were awesome. I made myself sick. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Linda. Welcome. If you guys don't follow me, if you would go over and follow Brushes and Boards Stenciled Up, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hi, JC. Okay, so we're doing an oval board today. And I already have it filled. And I'm going to show you the back in case you want to do this at some point. I'm going to show you the back so you can see how I filled my board. Because I kind of don't know the numbers yet. I mean, I can try to tell you, but... So, here's my board if you want to screenshot it. Hi, Connie and Cindy and Tina. How is everybody? Hi, Judy. I think I'm going to melt out here today. So, we're going to do a farmhouse wreath. And it's going to be so stinking cute. I've made this before out of my favorite greenery of all time. Thank you, Judy. Hi, Mary. This is called Ruskus. And you get it at Hobby Lobby. And this is my favorite greenery. Thank you, Ruth. It does kind of look like a toilet seat, Julie. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see that until you said something. Here she goes. <laughs> it does kind of look like a toilet seat. That's hilarious. That's so funny. I never thought of that before you said something. Hi, Melissa. So, this is called a Ruskus bush. And you get these at Hobby Lobby. I did not go shopping. My whole house has this in it because, guys, hi, Julie Coy. I got farmhouse inside my house. And if you take just a base and you pop this sucker right in there, this is perfect just by itself for farmhouse. So this is my favorite greenery. They're a little pricey, but they're $8.99 regular from Hobby Lobby. Hi, Rita. But I get them when they're 40% off, and then it's not. And I think you're going to need about six. We're going to see. Hi, Sherelda and Kitty. No, they wouldn't, Lynn. You wouldn't want to sit on all them zip ties. You'd be in trouble. <laughs> You'd be, be hurting for a long time. You got these, Donna? And you haven't done it yet? Ellen did one, and it turned out adorable. Hi, Serena. So, Hobby Lobby. I think you're going to need about six, but I'll be able to tell you at the end. Thanks, Nancy. I'm sweating my booty off. It's 90 degrees in the garage. I've been out here for the last hour and I had to run in. I'm all sweaty. I ran in to try to do something with my hair. It wasn't happening because I'm sweaty. So I thought I'll just be sweaty. Hi, Betsy. Thank you, Nancy. So we're going to fill this with these. And it's super simple, but wait till you see how... Well, I got one hanging back there, but you can't see it very good. You saw Ellen's too. Hi, Jackie. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull all these apart. And you got seven pieces on each bush. Ruscus. R-U-S-C-U-S, I think. That's how you spell it. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Darlene. So you get seven pieces out of one bush. See that? So you just clip it off. Hi, Tina and Alicia. And I got all mine over here clipped off already because I didn't want you to have to watch me clip them off. Hi, Sandy and Ann. So we're going to start loading our board. And you, you want to push your... These are push-ups too, which I love. I love this bush. I have it everywhere in my house. For my last live, I didn't have enough, so I started pulling them all out of my house. Now i got to replace them. It's 90s. It's 90 in my garage, and I'm about dying today. Hi, Mary. So what you're going to do is clip them off. And I showed you how I loaded my board. If you're late, if you were late, I'll show you one more time if you want to screenshot the back of my board. 
Hi, Mary and Paula and Tammy. So, whoops, see that? That's how I loaded my board. Nothing right here. You don't put nothing on this one. Hi, Tammy and Paula. So, you're just going to put one piece in every zip tie. And I like to put it in up to, see all these right here? I don't like to put it in on the stick. I like to put it in up to these because it kind of holds better. Hi, Jeannie. So, one on each tie. Super simple. And wait till you see how this turns out. Now, if you put them in, they're too long. So, see, I would zip it about right there. See how long that is? I'm going to trim it off a little bit. I didn't know how long I needed them, so I'm just going to trim like half of that off. Hi, your knees. And I'm going to stick it in there. And you start at the bottom and you work, work your way up. I'm going to stick it in to where they separate, to where right here, where you get all these separations. Hi, Eileen. And I'm going to zip it. And I'm going to cut it every time. But I'm going to, I'm going to bend. Where's my needle nose? I'm going to bend these in. Hi, Rachel. I'm going to bend the stem over the zip tie because the first one I did, they kind of wanted to slip out even though they're zip tied in. They kind of wanted to slip out. So see this little stem right here? I'm going to bend it over the zip tie with my needle nose. That way it's not going to go anywhere. So just give it a bend right over your zip tie and keep going. That's all you're going to do. So see how I bent that one? Just bend it over your zip tie and then keep going. And wait till you see how this turns out. It is stinking adorable. Hi, Cherise. So I just pull them down closer together. I clip a little more off because that's too long. And we're just going to keep adding them. And you add one to each side. And you're going to want to go, go out and get you some of this Ruskus because it turns out adorable. Hi, Pamela. So clip it and then bend your... Hi, Mary Ann. I saw that Judy Kurtz and they're watching it now. I was out here working, so I didn't know. Somebody came out and told me. So just bend it so it doesn't slip back through that zip tie. So can you see those right there bent? That's what you want to do. Hi, Brenda. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wait till you see it done. And then just keep going, one in each one. Like I said, I didn't know how long I needed them, so I'm going to have to trim everyone. Oh my gosh, my lunch was amazing, but... I made myself sick. I ate so much. You did, Pam. A lot of people ordered this bush after I did it the last time. But a lot of people on Lori's page don't watch me, so I thought I wanted them to see it too. Because it's so stinking cute. Hi, Teresa. Bend your stem and keep going. It just really fills the board nicely. Hi, Aline. How are you? Hope everybody had a good Saturday. Me and Ellen went and had all you can eat king crab legs today. And we made ourselves sick. Hi, Janice. We made ourselves sick eating. Kurt and uh, Brad went with us too this time. So it was fun. It was a nice little outing. And you guys know I don't go a lot of places because I'm a homebody. So it was nice to get out. You want to watch again? Good. Because this is what you get. Because I thought it was so cool. I wanted to show other people because I thought it turned out so good and it's so easy super easy no I did not puke Julie but man I came close because I ate that much oh Connie they were so good I am Kathy I'm full of crab I don't think I'll be able to eat the rest of the night and we ate at like 1130 today and I'm still not hungry so yeah, I don't think I'll be eating any more tonight. No, uh, me and Kurt and um, Ellen had crab legs. Brad had a steak. Hi, John Davis. Thank you for sprinkling, my friend. Uh, Brad had steak, but me and Ellen and Kurt had crab legs. And we all got the king crab legs. And it was so good. So if you're just hopping on, I'm bending these over because they like to slip out. Hi, Cindy Witt. Oh, I, I emailed you back, Cindy. Because I wanted to know if you wanted it on white. Thank you, Melissa. So, guys, this might be a little repetitive and boring, but wait till you see the end product. I think I'm going to use... <coughs> I think I'm going to use six bushes, Ruth. I'm almost positive I'm using six bushes. Three on this... Well, maybe seven. Three on this side, three on this side, and then an extra one just to put bunkin out the top. Did you have to take the meat out? Oh, I missed it. Uh, me and Kurt ate the same amount. Neither one of us, guys, 
it was all you can eat, but all three of us, me, Ellen, and Kurt, you don't eat seafood? I only eat that kind of seafood. Me, Ellen, and Kurt couldn't even finish our one plate. So we didn't even get more, and it's all you can eat. Because they were so big. So, it was $65 a person for all you can eat, but me and Kurt and Ellen didn't even finish our plate. And you got it with two sides, and we didn't even, we ordered the sides, but we didn't even touch our sides because, oh, there she is. She's at the Cardinal game. It was really good. We went to Kretzer's. It's in Hoylton. Hoylton. Hi, Hi Hoylton, Illinois. It's about 45 minutes from my house. But it was well worth it. Me and Ellen go there when they have the um, all-you-can-eat, but we haven't been in months. Look how nice that's looking already. Isn't that pretty? Did you guys see? I just saw that, Maureen. I was out here working, and somebody came out and told me. I just saw that. Here we go, right? Kretzter's in Hoylton. That's where we went. So, guys, one stem a piece. It only takes one stem to fill these up. So, it's really nice. It was so good. I'm still sick. I don't think I'll eat any more tonight. And that was at 1130. Hi, Jean. Hoylton, Illinois. It was. And it's it was like 45 for regular crab legs. It was 65 for king crab legs. All you can eat. None of us even finished our whole plate and asked for more. That's how big they were. And I was, like, sick after the one plate. So I'm like, there is no way. I'm not even going to be able to finish this plate. And Kurt couldn't finish his either, which I was surprised. I was very surprised. So if you guys want mine sprinkle in Lori's page out, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm just bending these if you're just hopping on, because sometimes they like to slip out of the zip tie. So if you bend them, that won't happen. Game's about to start. Oh, it is, Ellen? Okay. I'll see you later. She's at the Cardinal game. Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they have them on Amazon. I haven't looked. I always get mine at Hobby Lobby. And remember to get them at the 40% off every other week. The greenery is 40% off. So don't buy them regular price. Because they're like $8.99 for one. I'm in my garage. My, my working space is in my garage. And I don't have air conditioner out here. So I have to work in the heat. Thank you, Cindy and Margie. So you just slip one piece in, and that's it. No, they do not let you bring it home. The, this is a ruscus bush, and you get it from Hobby Lobby. This is my favorite greenery of all time. It's farmhousey, and I love farmhouse. Hi, Shawnee. So Hobby Lobby. They're $8.99. You're going to need, I, I'm thinking, seven. But get them when they're 40% off. Then it's very affordable to make one of these wreaths when you get them at 40% off. I never buy them at full price. Ah, Julie, whatever. You crazy. I don't have air because I'm cheap. That's why I don't have air. I don't want to spend for air conditioning. They got smoked the first game. I'm in St. Jacob, Illinois. I live in St. Jacob, Illinois. Little bitty town. I'm about 10 minutes from the loft. Waterman's loft. No, you can't bring extras home. Because people would go in to get more and then eat one and then take them all home. They won't let you do that. Thank you, Lynn. This is so pretty when it gets done. Wait till you see the bow we're going to put on top, though. The bow is going to make it. It's crazy. So, this one's way long. And you just stick one in super simple. And you guys, if you know me, I don't do wreaths well, but these unique in the creek boards, I cannot stop doing. It's ridiculous. I'm like so hooked. I won't use anything else now. Yep, Julie. <laughs> Amazon has this. I'm 20 minutes from St. Louis, from the arch. This is called Ruscus, a Ruscus bush, and it's from Hobby Lobby. It's got seven stems and they're push-ups. It looks really cool. Even with just one hit, one piece, it looks really cool. And it's beautiful when you get it done. If you like farmhouse, this is a good wreath for every day. 
every day is a good wreath for. I hang it inside my house in my living room because everything in my house is farmhouse. Yes, and you can change. Here's the thing, guys. On this wreath, you can use it all, all year long and just change your bow out for like Halloween, Christmas, whatever. My shirt says, I speak my mind because it hurts to bite my tongue. And the cow's tongue's sticking out. <laughs> I just thought it was adorable. He's gone. <laughs> I do have an addiction to wreaths. Oh, you're in DeCoin? Me and Kurt used to go to the DeCoin State Fair every year when we were younger. Yep. Every year. Biden's about to speak. I don't ever watch that stuff. 12 pieces for $15.99 on Amazon. Do they look exactly the same as this one, Albert? Thanks. Thanks to Will. Guys, if you don't know me, I sell shirts, tumblers, wreaths. I do painted door hangers, painted wreath signs. Bye, Ellen. All kinds of stuff. That's looking really cool already. Hi, Pat. So, get you some Ruskus Bush. These sell, this wreath right here sells like hotcakes. It really does. Especially people that like a uh, farmhouse, like me. And you can use it every day. Hi, Deborah. Okay, Albert. But don't, I got wood, yep. I got wood. Finally, we got wood. Finally. I was dying for some MDF. I had to stop myself, guys, because we had this conversation the other night, and I almost said something else, so I'm not on my page. I got to keep reminding myself that I got to watch my, watch what I say. So we have MDF. We have wood. Finally. Thank you, Sue. So, whoops, wrong thing. So just bend over your little stems. Oh, it would, Ruth. I never even thought of that. It would look really good. Okay, so I have some more extra ones on the top. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go down here and start my way up again. But look at that. Look how full that is. Isn't that pretty? I just love this Ruskus. I put it everywhere. Thank you, Dean. So now we're going to start on the other side and work our way up. This is one of the easiest wreaths you'll do. No ribbon to mess with, no mesh, and it's so pretty. So this proves there's all kinds of things you can do with these boards. I know, Cindy, it was. I went back and watched the replay. I'm like, oh, Lord, he's just a mess. I think he was liking throwing it over his shoulder and making a mess. I think he was. He won't say it, but I think he was. And he actually had fun making that wreath. I couldn't believe it. Because you know he hates doing that stuff. This would be... Kurt could do this one all by himself. This would be an easy one for Kurt. Even though he doesn't like to make wreaths. It does. It lays really well. The first time I made it, I'm like, oh my gosh. It is just so pretty. Um, so you're going to buy seven of these. Seven of these Ruskus bushes from Hobby Lobby. And then there's seven picks on each and you cut them all off. He did enjoy it and he usually does not. He doesn't like to get on my lives. He doesn't like the camera. Hi, hi, Tammy. Um, but I, I made him get on one time. And then he promised all my followers that he would come on once a month, which he's not been doing. He doesn't like it, trust me. But he does it. He does it for you guys because he... He doesn't like it, but he does it for you guys. He does not like being on camera. Neither does Tyler. He did do great. He just, he don't like the camera. Which I didn't either before I started live, so I get it. He's getting more used to it now, but he still doesn't like being on live. Which I don't blame him. This is not his thing. He just does it to be nice. That was the first, first time you've seen him. Yeah, he's, he's a really nice man. I will, Albert. Really, really nice. We've been together 36 years. Isn't that crazy? You have, Tammy? Where you been? I'm, I'm on pretty much five nights a week, usually. 
unless I can't find something to do, which has been happening a lot lately. Because the first two years I did lives, I went on almost seven nights a week. And, and that's too much, but I did it. Now I'm kind of struggling on finding things to do lives on. So you need seven of these bushes. Thanks, Anne. Which ends up coming up to, they're $8.99, so 40% off. It's not that bad once you do it, when they're on sale. Sue, he probably does not like hanging out with me. We've been together so long, he probably has had enough of me. He does it for you guys, because you guys like to see him come on there. So that's why he does it. He don't do it. He probably don't do it for me. I don't know. He might. Oh, you don't get a notification? Guys, check your notifications because they get turned off all the time by themselves. You see that, Lynn? Yeah. I've been I've been burning mesh today trying to get these kits out. So all I got left to do is make all my snowman signs. And then they'll go out maybe Tuesday. So earlier than I expected, they'll go out. Hi, see you and my owner. So they'll go out earlier than I expected. Which is surprising. Thanks, Shan. Hi, Pam. Yeah, creating these signs. He is very supportive of me. Yes, he is. No, I'm... Yeah, no. Well, I want them all to go downward. You don't want... Yeah, I'm doing it in a different direction. So if I would have kept going, you would have had these going upward. Which would have looked funny. You know what I mean? So I go down this way, and then I go down this way. Lori, let me tell you something about these, these boards right here. Let me tell you. I, I started making wreaths, I don't know, about a year ago. I normally paint. I'm a painter. But sometimes I don't have nothing to paint, so I started doing wreaths. So I started with grapevines and stuff. Every time I did one on a live, after my live, I pulled it apart because I hated it. I started using these boards, and I can't stop. And I have done, I don't know how many I've done by now, 20? I have not pulled one apart. That's how easy these boards are. You do not have to know how to make a wreath to use these boards. You do not. And I'm prime example of that. My husband sat here and did one with me last night. And he said, I can't believe I just did a wreath. I'm like, that's how easy they are. These boards are amazing. I won't use anything else anymore. Hi, Gail. You could do so many things on them. They are fabulous. And this wreath right here is really easy because all you're doing is sticking the stem in and zipping it cut or zipping it off and bending your stem. Super simple. So these are really easy and they're fun. I can't stop doing them. If you ask all my people, I'm constantly making a wreath. And I'm not a wreath maker. I mean, I guess I kind of am now, but I wasn't a wreath maker. I was a painter. So they're amazing. Try one. I'm telling you, try one one time and you'll just, you'll be hooked because that's how easy they are. They are fabulous. And we're going to make a big old bow to go on the top of this. The boards come from Unique in the Creek. And if you go to my page, Tina Kelly, I haven't seen her on here yet. They're addicting. They are addicting. Um, if you go to the top of my page, I have an affiliate link for Unique in the Creek. And the code, if you use the code Team Unique in capital letters, you get 5% off all your boards. Yeah, painter and a shirt maker. Hi, D. So, uniqueinthecreek.com is where you get these. And they're amazing. Amazing. Hi, Rebecca. And Suzanne. How is everybody? Guys, I'm sweating like a pig. It's horrible out here today. Horrible. Oh, you did, Serena? I'm going to have to go look at that. Tie-dye bandana. That's probably pretty. Me and Serena are hooked on these boards. It's ridiculous. I just, I keep ordering and ordering and ordering. Do you think that greenery would work on the horse board? Nancy, probably. I think it probably would. This greenery lays really well. 
it just lays really well. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody that I watch do this kind of greeting on, on a unique and creek board yet. They might have, and I didn't see it, but I mean, look how full that is, just with one stem on each, under each zip tie. Yeah, we are all addic addicted to seeing them. Thank you, Lynn. I'm trying. If this was a grapevine, I'd be a hot mess. I'd be pulling it apart after my life. You don't use the, oh, I missed it. You don't use the wire? Is that what you said? I don't like the wire raised forms at all. I'm sweating like a sinner in church, like JoJo says. Yeah, big time. Big time. At least she's got air where she works. I was going to do it in the kitchen. I thought, I'm not taking all this to the kitchen. I'll just sweat. It'll be all right. I'm not going to melt. It would make a... Lynn said it would make a great horse. I'm going to make a horse at some point. Guess what I'm making really soon when my mesh comes in? I'm making a bat. And I'm going to cut the ring board in half and make a bat. I can't wait for that one. It's going to be super cute. Of course, it's not my idea because I can't... I have to copy from people, guys. I don't have the designer brain. This one was mine. But I usually can't come up with my own designs. Oh, yeah. I don't like the metal frames at all. I never did. But I, I don't have a designer brain. I can't come up with my own designs. So I kind of have to copy off people. But I give them props for it. But I wish I could just think of my own. You have two horse boards? That would be great. Use the wing board? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Well, I saw some lady do it, that I've never seen this lady before. I can't remember her name. I'll look at her name before I do it on my live. This is the same. It's the Ruskus from Hobby Lobby. I did it on my page before, but I wanted Lori's people to see it because it's so cute. Eight and twelve occasionally. Yes, Justina, I need, I do. I need help all the time. Girl, mm-mm. My brain don't work that way. I'll see something and I'll say, okay, I have to make that. And that's the only way I can make it is look at somebody else's. I can't, like, come up with my own design. I don't know why. Unicorn hairball holder on the horse board. Ooh, that sounds neat. That sounds really cool. You're welcome, Lynn. But wait till you see the bow we make. Oh, a centerpiece? That's a good idea. Okay, so we're at the top where I have extra zip ties. And let me show you the extra zip ties. Look how full that is. Isn't that pretty? But here's my extra zip ties. So on this one, the only reason you put these two at the top in is because you put your bow on there. And you want, you want it to pop out the top a little bit above your bow. Kind of like that. So that's why I put the top ones in. So... I can't remember how many I put, though. I might have to cheat and look at the one behind me. So I'm going to... I know this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one right here. It goes regular. It, this one does regular. So I'm going to finish this up here, and then I'll show you what I do with the rest. Wireframes are dangerous. They scratched your glass door. Oh, gosh. That stinks. All right, so let me... You're going to need seven altogether. Seven bushes. And these are $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. But wait till they go 40% off every other week. And then get them. And then they're not very expensive. That's when you can afford them. Because you're going to need seven of them. Which I don't think is that many. But some people would. Hi, Becky. I don't think seven's that many. But some people would think that's a lot. Because they're not really, really big bushes. You know what I mean? Okay, so I got to do this one. I haven't done this one yet. And then I'm going to show you what we do at the top. Oh, I didn't bend that one either. The top, we just want some poking out the top. That's why you need seven. If you don't want any poking out the top above your bow, you would only need six bushes. But I like to get seven because I like it to pop out behind my bow. So I didn't turn these two. So let me do that now. Okay, so now we're at the top. 
Oh no, I gotta finish these two and then we'll be at the top. So hold on, I'm almost ready to show you. So turn them under just cause they, so they don't slip out of your zip tie. They might not, but mine, a couple of them started slipping out of my other wreath. So that's why I decided to bend them over. All right. Try it, Cindy Witt. You're going to love it. I just love farmhouse stuff. And it's so, it turns out so cute. And it's, you could use it all the time, every day. Three across the top one, yes. So I got one here at the top coming out the outside. I got one in the middle in the shared holes. And I got one coming out the inside. So three right here. Hi, Neva. And the reason is, is that I'm going to start on the bottom zip tie in the middle. And I'm going to put two in there. One going out each way, okay? So you're going to take two of them, just like this. And you're going to poke them in each way just like that, and zip it. You still use the raised wreath forms? I, I can't. I'm not that good at wreaths to use them, so I just, I don't do it. I use these because I don't have to take them apart after I do them. Okay, so I put one, on that one I put one stem going in that way, and one stem going in that way. So I got two in the zip tie, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on the middle zip tie. One coming each way. I'm funny. I'm always funny. I have issues sometimes. <laughs> All right, so two in, one each way. I think that's why you guys watch me, because I'm funny. This is a zip tie gun. So this, when you slip it into your zip tie, it tightens it and it cuts it at the same time. I don't know how much they are. They're not that much, but these I got on Amazon, and these are amazing if you do a lot with zip ties. Hi, Karen. Okay, so I got one more at the top. I'm going to put two in. I might... I don't know. We're going to see how it does it looks when I put two in. I might put four in the top. I'm not sure. I get lost with my little bus. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Hi, Kelly. Okay, let me see. You know what I'm going to do on this one? Thank you, Lynn. On this one, I'm going to put four. Let me tell you why. So I'm going to put two poking upward. Let me show you. It's hard to hold the board and show you. I'm going to put two poking upward. And you'll see after I put the bow on why. And I'm going to put two poking downward. So I'm going to do four on this zip tie. Hi, Deborah. Just because I want to. And I have extra, so it's all right. So I'm going to put four in this one just so I know it's really filled. Just like that. And then just zip them all together. <laughs> Rebecca. Now, you're all right with having this piece right here showing because your bow is going to be there. It's not a big deal. I, Tommy, this is the best greenery in the world. If you like farmhouse, this is my favorite go-to greenery for farmhouse. I love it. Hobby Lobby. It's the best. Okay, so see, this is what we got. Look how full that is. So now we're going to make a bow. And then you're going to see why I put these extra ones in the top after I get my bow on. So let's make us a bow real quick. And we're going to make a big bow. Trust the process, right, Sue? We're going to make us a big, big bow. Kind of like a tree topper bow, but not as big. So I'm going to use this farmhouse beige and black for the top for my bow. I drive the bus. Julie, I own my bus. I own my bus. I told you that yesterday. That's my bus. All right. So we're going to make this big old bow to go on the top. And if you guys have never seen this bow, it's super simple. It's one of the easiest bows you could do. And it's good for tree toppers, too. So I want my tails long. So I'm going to do the tails like 20 inches. Mm, I'm going to do them by 18 inches. So I'm just going to double that, and I'm going to put it down in the middle. Is that the way I want to do that? Yeah. And I'm going to cut it off. So I'm going to start just with the tail, okay? The tail, just like that. That's how I'm starting, all right? And then I'm going to start my bow. We're going to have multiple tails on this bow. 
So I'm going to do the same size tail and start my loops. Can you see me? So same size tail. I'm going to do... I'm going to do five and a half inch loops. Hi, Giselle Gazelle. Five and a half inch loops. And I'm going to do like eight on each Let's side. Do a video of it. Hey, I'm on. Oh, I was going to say be quiet because I'm not on my page. Oh. I was just saying don't cuss because I'm not on my page. I never cuss. I know. Whatever. So, five and a half inch loops. And you're going to do eight loops on each side. This is going to be a big bow. Eight on each side. So there's one. And I'm going to have to sit here and count. Bye. I'm going to have to sit here and count or else I'll forget. And then I'll have to count my loops every time. So there's two. And they're all going to be the same size. They're all going to be five and a half inch loops. So if you want a big tree topper bow and you know how to make one, this is how you make a tree topper bow. You make all your loops the same size. Hi, Shirley. And you do a bunch of them. So that's three. All at five and a half inches. Four. This bow looks adorable on the screenery. That's four. Five. You use a lot of ribbon, but boy, it's pretty. That's five. Six. This is loop number six. Seven. No attachment. Nope. It's just going to be a, a simple farmhouse everyday wreath. No attachment. That's seven. One more loop on each side. It's just simple and really elegant and pretty. That's number eight. So we're going to quit after this. No middle, no center loop, no nothing. Okay, that's the eighth loop on each side. So now I'm going to pull my tail down to match these. Thank you, Connie. I love this ribbon. It's so farmhousey. All right. And then we're going to zip tie it up. Wait till you see how this bow turns out. It's adorable. So I'm going to take me a single zip tie because it's not thick and I'll be able to get it through my holes. And I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks, Tammy. So I'm going to pull as tight as I can and on your bows. It's really important to make that stack stay straight. That's what makes a good bow. So do that, and now I'm gonna fluff it out. So here's what you do. I like to run my fingers through my tails and give them a low curve at first. I don't know why, I just do that. So I run my fingers in between my fingers, or run my ribbon in between my fingers. And then I'm gonna start fluffing it. I start on one side and then I when I get the one side done, I flip around and do the other side. So you just pull these loops wherever you want them. That's all you do. Separate them. Just like this. Wherever you think you might need one, you pull it there. You want them up, down. You want them poking every which way. Scissor fingers, yes. That's what it's called, scissor fingers. So see how I got that side fluffed? Now I'm going to turn it around and fluff the other side. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. So now you're going to fluff your other side. This is the easiest bow. Very simple. And it turns out amazing. So you're just going to pull these wherever you want them. Wherever you think you might need one. And this is the prettiest bow that you'll ever pretty much see. It's like a tree topper bow. It's so stinking cute. So then look at it and pull them out where you want them. And you can pull on them hard. They're not going to go anywhere. You kind of want to put them. You don't want them to stay where you want them to stay. You want them to go where you want them to go. All right. That's pretty good. So now we're going to put it on the wreath. And I'm going to show you the bow. It's super cute. We might have to adjust it a little more once we get it on there. But that's all right. All right. Let's put it on our wreath. So. 
I'm going to put my boat in these two holes right here, the two holes that are on top of each other. That's where I'm going to put my boat. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and slip them through the two holes and then just tighten it up and wait till you see it on here. It's adorable. Pull it tight and give it a twist. Hi, Jessica. And then I'm going to pull my tails down and kind of give them a curve. I want my tails long and just hang in there. Hi, Karen. I just want them dangling there. I got them a little long. I'll probably cut them off a little bit. Let me cut them down a tiny bit because they are a little bit long. And I don't like them the same length either. But some people do. I just don't. And then I just give them a little curl. All right. Hi. Oh, you're fashionable late. Fashionably late. I know, Joyce. You guys got to make you one of these wreaths. It's just so stinky cute. Let me fix my tails or my loops just a tiny bit. Hi, Barbara from Nashville. Thanks for hopping on and hanging out with me on Lori's page. I'm glad Lori asked me again. All right. Here we go. Look how stinking adorable that wreath is. Isn't that the cutest farmhouse wreath? I just love it. Very elegant. Very farmhouse. I keep going the wrong way. Look at that bow. Isn't that bow pretty? Simple bow. Hi, Joanne. I know. It's the cutest thing. It's just... Very plain, elegant, and farmhousey. I know, it's so stinking cute. I already have one hanging on my front door. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I could sell it, or I'll hang it on the inside of my front door. Whatever. But look how well that fills that greenery that Ruskus fills in. Isn't that nice? Yes. And now, you could use this all year long and change your bow. You could put a Halloween one on there, a Christmas one, whatever you want. You don't have to change your wreath if you don't want to. You just change your bow. Isn't that stinking adorable? Guys, this is, does not cost that much to make. If you get the greenery on sale. I love this kind of bow on this wreath. So that's it. That's my farmhouse wreath. So remember, this is a Ruskus bush from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need six... Oh, let me show you why. Let me show you why. I forgot to show you that. This is available for sale. Yes. This is um, 60 plus 15 flat rate shipping in the U.S. It's very easy, easy, Robin. So see, hi, GD Baker. See how some of them poke out a little bit from behind the bow? That's what I want. I didn't want it just dropping off right there. I, that's why I added the extra ones because I wanted it kind of poking out behind the bow a little bit. Show the back. Yep. So here's how I loaded my board if you want to screenshot it. I did nothing with the three holes down here in the middle. Nothing. The code for the 5% off the boards is Team Unique in capital letters. So that's how I loaded my board. Can you see my zip ties? GD Baker, isn't it adorable? I love this farmhouse wreath. And look. This is just Ruskus Bush from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need seven. Yeah, the simplicity in change your bow and every holiday you can use it if you wanted to. But I think it's the perfect farmhouse wreath for me. So the middle line right here, look, we didn't do nothing to you because see how that one's empty right there? It's because they go in together like that. So that's our wreath. And I think it's stinking adorable. So, guys, that's all I got for you. Go get you some Ruskus Bush when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby. Every other week, greenery's on sale at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I bet you a lot of greenery would look good in this oval wreath. It really would. Just straight up greenery. I've seen a lot of people do it with a lot of different greenery, but I've never seen them do it on the oval board. 
I see him do it on a grapevine. You're welcome back. I've done one on a grapevine too. But it looks so much better on the oval ring. So, and it's so much easier on the oval ring. Because in the grapevine, you got to glue all of them in and that stinks. These, you just zip tie and don't have to worry about any glue. So it's much easier on the oval ring. You could probably do one on the ring board too. I just like it where it's oval. I don't think I would like it as much if it was round. I like it that it's oval. That's why I use the oval board. But that's it. Yeah, it looks better on this board than a grapevine, I think. Alright guys, I'm going to hop off here and get out of this heat. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. And I appreciate Lori letting me on her page again. And if you guys need some boards, go to Unique and Creek and get them because they're amazing. I'm hooked and you'll get hooked too if you've never done one. Alright guys, everybody have a good weekend. And I appreciate you guys. See you later.